Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin. It is a general reading. So that being said, it being a general reading, it might not resonate with everybody. So please take whatever resonates with you and just toss the rest aside, okay? If it doesn't feel right, it's just not right with you. It most likely is not meant for you, especially this type of reading, okay? So um, that being said, if ever you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, please do contact me at romancevoltero at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find those answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be mostly appreciated. So that being said, I'm going to explain to you what it is I have done here. First of all, this reading is dedicated to the sign of Capricorn. And as I said just a few moments ago, it's really important to take what resonates with you. There's a lot of viewers, there's a lot of subscribers. So um, this message, I have four messages, okay? I channeled messages from your deceased, from your past loved ones. So I have four messages. Maybe you'll connect with all four messages. Maybe they're all for you. Maybe there's only three or two or one that is for you. Take what you're connected to. That is that means it is meant for you. Um, I'm going to. Um, so we're talking. I'm I'm calling this a little bit talking to heaven, if you will, because this is what we're doing. We're channeling uh, your loved ones um, in heaven because they want to talk to you. They want to share their love and their reassurance to help you heal your grief. Um, and I'm going to finish it up over here with a, a guardian angel because your guardian angels also, they want you to be patient. They want you to be open to the guidance um, that can be given to you from above. Very important. So um, let's begin. I'm going to turn these cards over and I'm going to deliver the message that was meant for you. So I have tears cleanse the soul. Remember me by um, the happy memories we created. Now I have no pain and my mind is free. So we're going to begin over here with my mind is free. You know how much I worried when I was in my physical existence. It seemed as though I spent most of my days and my nights feeling anxious about the future, about family, about money and the earth. Now I realize that most of what I worried about was never really a reality. And those things that did materialize, well, I brought about myself because fear attracts negativity. If I could only go back into my body for just five minutes, I'd apply this new knowledge to show you how a worry-free mind creates and attracts a worry-free life. This knowledge has completely released me from the bondage of earthly concerns. This is my greatest lesson and one that I hope to impart to you. Give all your worries to heaven and never hang on to them. Be free of worries and you've found the greatest riches of them all. Now, I have no pain. You worried whether I suffered in my passing and I'm here now to tell you that all physical pain is connected to the body. Now that my body has been laid to rest, I am completely pain-free. Before, movement was slow and cumbersome, but now I am so light and free that I can be wherever I want with even just a thought. Part of my life review has been to examine the source of my previous physical pain and to take responsibility without guilt for my role in manifesting those conditions. I now see that the path of pain was a choice that my soul made and I'm learning great lessons of compassion and empowerment from that path. Remember me by the happy memories we created. I can see you remembering with heaviness in your heart because you worry and you grieve and these are all normal, beautiful and understanding emotions and they are part of your healing process. 
However, when the dust settles, I really wish that you could focus upon your happy times instead of the sad ending. Keep my memory alive by thinking of me at our most, most joyful times. When something stirs a pleasant memory, talk to me about this and know that I will hear you and share the sentimental moment with you. And my final message are tears cleanse the soul. When you cry, I am even closer to you, hugging and reassuring you. Sometimes you feel my presence and sometimes not. However, I want you to know how beautiful you are when you are vulnerable with your heart fully open, feeling your raw emotions. Tears are a way to wash your soul of impurities such as fear and worry. It's a healthy means of releasing painful feelings. So I'm very proud of you for allowing yourself to cry. I know that it's that it's difficult and that you want the pain to just end. And it will, I promise. Just know that your heart heals faster as you allow it to experience all of these feelings. Don't try to stay composed or hold back tears. Cry if and when you need to. People will understand. And if they don't, then that says much more about them than it does about you. Because God gave us the ability to shed tears for a healing reason. And it takes a strong person to cry. What beautiful messages from your past ones. So now we're going to move over to the guardian angel. Your message from your guardian angel is angel of comfort. You've received this message because your angel of comfort acknowledges that you're experiencing a challenging time. Are you feeling alone? Have you recently lost a loved one? Are you having challenges with your work or with your family? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then it is time to call in your angel of comfort. Your angel of comfort will offer you comfort and support. Don't feel that any challenge or issue that you're worrying about is too small for his assistance. All you need to focus on is that he is by your side at your times of need. Your angel of comfort wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on, a strong hand to hold, and an ear to listen to your worries and your fears. And he will offer you strength, comfort, and guidance to help you understand that in time you will heal. Your angel of comfort may even guide an earth angel into your life in your times of need. The earth angel could come in the form of a like-minded friend, a family member, or work colleague who has experienced similar challenges in their life as you're currently experiencing. Sometimes getting back in your comfort zone can be as simple as sharing your experiences with another. Through talking about your issues with your angel of comfort, or the earth angel he sends to you, it may give you fresh insight. Your angel of comfort will help you to return to your natural state of well-being. He will show you ways to help you release any of your past fears so that you will no longer return to the past state of discomfort. All you need to do is trust and have faith that your angel of comfort has the knowledge that is required to assist you. Leave the why, the when, and the how up to him and he will take care of the rest. So this, my dear friends, Capricorn, does conclude your reading with your um, loved ones. I do hope that you enjoyed. I hope you were able to um, resonate, to connect. Uh, if you do have any questions, you would like to have a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings, and I do wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. Many blessings to you.